Hi, this is Julie from The Scrappy Tree, and I am here today with some basic information on stamping. Um, some kinds of stamps that are out there and some things that uh, might help you if you're looking to start that crafting venture for yourself. Uh, first thing we'll talk about, um, in the world of rubber stamping, a lot of people used to start off with the wood-mounted stamps, and they're on a wood block, and you get a nice rubber mount here and they have really good impressions very good um, and a lot of people started out that way now not so much but one thing to know about wood stamps they're still available and they do a really good impression another type of stamp that is out there are the clear stamps or clings and they come in various different forms um, but they're they're like a very thin flimsy little acrylic kind of stamp and you use blocks for these, which come in different sizes and shapes, and you put your stamp on it. And what's nice about those, then, is if you're doing a project, you can actually see what you're doing. You can see where you're stamping, and then if you make a mistake, you can always kind of go back in and see where you need to fix it. With a wood stamp, you cannot do that. Okay, you can't see through it. Now, um... And they can kind of come in cases. Um, some companies, such as this one from Paper Tray Ink, you have to put them in the case yourself and label it yourself. Um, others come in a little package like this. And this is from My Mind's Eye. And you can tell what the stamp looks like, and then you just lift it up. And then you can peel off whichever stamp you want. Those are cling stamps, and they're really nice to use, too. Um, and most people now are probably starting off with this kind of stamping. Um, and like I said, you need acrylic um, stamp blocks for them, various sizes. And I recommend getting a variety of sizes from very large to this type of long one. And you can find them, Joanne's Hobby Lobby, any craft store. Um, you can also get them like this. This is from Fiskars, and it's a stamp press. And you would put your stamp on it, and then you would just push it down. And we'll use this in a video coming up in the future, but that's nice. Another um, set of stamps that, similar to the Wood Mountain, <clears throat> would be cling. These are called cling stamps. And they're from a variety of different companies as well. A lot of companies make these. And they have the rubber. So they're similar to your wood mounted. The only thing is, is that they'll have a clear back. And you can stick them on your blocks. And then you'll stamp. Okay? But you won't be able to see through these. But you will be able to have a little bit more freedom with them. They're easier to store than a bunch of wood-mounted stamps. Some clings will have the picture on it. Um, these do not. They just have a little sticker that kind of protects that little part. It's not actually sticky to the touch, but it does stick to the block. Okay. So again, those are clings. And they have rubber, but they stick to the blocks. And these are really nice because you get the wonderful, clear impression that a wood-mounted stamp gives you without the bulky storage. When you start out stamping, not only do you need stamps of whichever kind you like, um, but you also need those blocks. And then um, just a couple of basic inks that you can start out with. I recommend starting out with a brown and a black. And we're going to talk about, in our next video, the different types of inks that there are and why you would choose certain inks. So that's our next video, but this first one in the series is just a little bit about stamping, just kind of what stamps are out there. And I recommend, you know, try, see what you like. Uh, the wood-mounted stamps are going to be easy to find as well. Hobby Lobby always has a bunch. Um, this one in particular was $11.90. One thing you'll notice with wood-mounted stamps, this one stamp is $11.90, but this whole set 
of the clear stamps from my mind's eye was only six dollars so there's a difference in prices the wood mounted is definitely going to be a little bit more and you're not going to have you know 12 or more stamps in a set you're just going to have the one so something to look at the next time you go to the store i hope this helped and we'll see you next time for the inks Bye.